Hi, I'm Mark Allardyce from allaboutmoose.com and I'm here to introduce to you today a new product called Runlock. It's a Swedish product. It's a, um, a hunting rope set. It consists of a leash and a um, rope. The, and the, uh, the unique, unique thing about this rope is it's braided. And it's braided in two pieces and you can see there's numerous joints. So it's very simple to create a slip knot or um, fasten something without having to without having to tie knots in it. For those of you that don't like tying knots or that don't don't know very many knots, this is a great little product. So I'm going to demonstrate uh, a couple of knots with this uh, runlock rope. One is just your simple slip knot. You make a little loop in the braid. You feed the other section through. And now you have a slip knot. It works very simple. The, uh, this rope has a breaking strength of 580 kilos, which is uh, about 1,275 uh, pounds. So it's a very strong rope. You could probably use this for a moose. We're going to try it out this year on moose. But certainly it would work very well for deer. Uh, in the literature you get from Runlock, they show uh, s several hunters uh, tying this onto a moose and then they all pull together uh, to pull their moose out. I'm not sure how effective that would be uh, in British Columbia anyway, but um, we'll have to give it a try. Uh, we're not big on the manual pulling of moose. We usually pull them with a vehicle or an ATV or or put them on a game cart of some kind, um, but this rope will be very hand handy. Now, if you don't want just a slip knot, maybe you want a fixed loop. So we create our fixed our slip slip um, loop here, and then what we do is once we decide the size of loop we want, you know whether it's a small one or a larger one, then we just feed the uh, sliding portion through the standing line and it locks together. It's very, very strong. I can pull on it really hard and it just comes apart so easily. No jamming, no knots to untie, no knots to remember how to do. All you have to do is be able to slip this together, decide how big you want your loop, whether you want maybe a, a much larger one to go around something. And again, we've got a nice big loop. I can put that over my shoulder, tie the other end to my deer or my moose. Um, I can, you know, make it quite large. I can wear it like this. There's, there's lots of different uh, ways you can use this rope, I'm sure. We're going to test it out this year and see how well that works. The other part of the hunting set is the dog leash, which is this portion here. It's a very lightweight heavy enough for a dog obviously. Uh, it's quite strong. I'm not sure what the break, breaking strength of it is, but it folds up very nicely. Carry it in your shirt pocket when you need to tie up your dog. You've got a, 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 a leash. Now the leash is also adjustable, or at least the collar portion of it is adjustable. So it becomes, I guess, almost like a choke collar, but it doesn't, doesn't never, it never chokes. So you adjust it by feeding it through. It's the same principle, it's the, it's the braided loops, got the little braided loops, and so it's got a, fi a fixed big loop. Well, if you got a dog with a head like that, well, maybe you got more like a rhinoceros or something. But um, To get the smaller size loop to fit your dog, you just feed, feed it through this a, a loop, create the now that's quite a small neck for, for a medium sized dog, but you can open it up, put it over their head, you pull it down, it's snugger on their neck, it can never choke them, and it can never slip off, if you make it the right size, it won't slip off over their head either. So handy little thing, very lightweight, um, carry it in your pants pocket. Uh, for you bird hunters, this is an awesome little tool, you don't have to pack a big, you know, big heavy uh, leash of any kind with you. Just pack this in your 
shirt pocket, pants pocket, whatever.